fiscal year 2019 budget agreed to by the governor and legislature was finalized over the weekend. The budget includes key Senate Democratic priorities, including Senate President Steve Sweeney's efforts to ensure fair funding for all of New Jersey's schools, appropriations to direct service providers for people with disabilities, and funding for court-ordered special advocates for victims of child abuse. Three bills sponsored by Senate Health Committee Chair Joseph Vitale, Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, and Senators Nia Gill and Teresa Ruiz were signed into law. They'll promote transgender equality throughout the Garden State. The bills allow the issuance of amended birth certificates for people who have undergone a change in gender, permit gender identity to be reflected on death certificates, and establish a transgender equality task force. A bill establishing the Office of the Chief State Medical Examiner in, but not of, the Department of Health to replace the Office of the State Medical Examiner in the Department of Law and Public Safety was signed into law. It's sponsored by Senator Vitale. The new law will provide accountability and central oversight to the Department of Health. This comes after surviving family members of several New Jerseyans who have died have been left without answers regarding their loved ones' deaths. Thanks for watching. This has been the Senate Democrats, Week in 60 Seconds.